I'm Adil Kumar. We'll explore dependent and independent event with the help of an example. A bag contains five red balls and four green balls. Event A, first ball is red. Event B is second ball is red. Explain the concepts of dependent and independent events by finding probability of A and B. Now this is a very important question and it helps us understand the concept. As we know, if we do the operation of selecting or choosing a ball randomly, one after the other, with replacement or without replacement, we look into these two cases, right? with replacement and the second is without replacement. In the first case, if we do the operation of selecting two balls randomly with replacement, then the probability of selecting the first ball and the probability of selecting the second ball both remain same right since we have replaced the balls so basically we start with five red balls one two three four five and four green balls one two three four probability of selecting the first red ball that is probability for a is five out of nine right if we replace the selected ball, then probability for B, that means second ball is red, is again 5 out of 9. And the probability of A and B is their product, 5 out of 9 times 5 out of 9. Correct? So that is the case of independent event. So in independent event, as you can see, probability of event A and B is equal to probability of A times probability of B. Right? Now if we Take the second case where we again have five red balls and four green balls. Now if we consider the case without replacement, in that case, probability of picking the first red ball is five out of nine, right? Five red out of total of nine balls. Now the second red ball, that is, if we put a condition here, that if the first ball is red, in that case what happens? And we are not replacing, right? We are talking about without replacement. So it is a conditional probability, right? So we are not replacing, we are left with just four red balls and four green balls. So in that case, we are talking about probability of event B when A has occurred. Do you see that? Probability of B, that is the second ball is red, when A has occurred. So that means probability of second red ball when first is known to be red. Right? So that probability, since we know first is red, we are only left with four and there are total 8 balls. So this probability is 4 over 8. 
So in this particular case, what you notice is that probability of A and B both to happen, that means two red balls, is their product, which is probability of A times probability of B when A has happened, right? So in this case, it is 5 out of 9 times, this is half, right? times half product of these two so that is how we get probability for a dependent event right so which is 5 over 18 right so and in this case it was 10 over 81 so what you notice here is that in case of independent events for independent events Probability of A intersection B is equal to product of our probability of A and B. However, for dependent events, it is product of probability of A and the conditional probability of B happening when A has already occurred. Right? So, so that is a huge difference. So this is how we can summarize the two differences. So I hope with this video the concept is absolutely clear. So in independent events probability of both the events to occur is the product of their individual probabilities and for a dependent event probability for both the events to occur is product of probability of A times probability of B when A has occurred. Right? So that is how we could actually distinguish between them and understand the concept of dependent and independent events. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe my videos, that would be great. Thank you and all the best.